Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to hide a WooCommerce category from your shop page. Sometimes you might want to hide one or more categories from your shop page so that only people with the password or specific logged in users or roles can see them. So on my testing site here, perhaps I might want to hide my accessories category and just make that category available to people with either a password or specific users or roles. At the moment, you can see my accessories category here in the menu and over here in the sidebar, and I can click through into that category. But it's very easy to hide and protect that category with the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin from Barn2. Let's take a look. First of all, you need to download the plugin from barn2.com and you'll find a link in the description below. Once downloaded, install the plugin in the normal way by going to Plugins, Add New and Upload the zip file. Don't unzip it, just upload it. Once installed, find the new plugin in Plugins and activate it. And then click Settings. This is where you'll need to enter your license key Activate it and we're good to go. The first option in settings here is category visibility. If I uncheck these two boxes, any protected categories and products will not show up on my shop or category pages. And I'll just save those changes at the bottom of this page. Now, to protect a specific category, I'm going to go to the categories area of WooCommerce. So I'm going to go to products and then categories. And I want to hide my accessories category. So I'm going to click on edit on this category. And then if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's now a new section added by the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin called visibility. And you can see we have three options, public, protected, and private. With the protected option, you can see we have three further options password protected, users, and user roles. So you can protect a category here and only allow access to specific users, user roles, or via a login password. With password protected, you can create a password that customers can use to log in to that category. And very usefully, you can create multiple passwords, say for different customers and groups as you require. So I'm going to protect my category with a simple password and I'm going to use uh, discover and then I need to update at the bottom here for it to take effect. Now if I go back to my shop page and refresh the page you can see that my accessories category is no longer in the menu here nor in the shop categories widget over here. So we can either completely hide our protected categories from customers, and I'll show you how to create a login page so they can get access, or you can leave the categories as visible, but limit access to only users, roles, or require customers to enter a password before they can browse the category. Let's start by hiding our protected categories completely and create a separate login area for customers. So. Back to the plugin settings. And I'm going to make sure that category visibility is unchecked. Next, I'm going to come down to password protected categories here. And I need to select a page for a central login. Now, I've already created a page called Special Access. And you can just go to Pages in your admin and create a new page and call it whatever works for your site. So I'm going to select my page here. And we have a few other options below to customize how the login will look, where we can alter the text and instructions to the customer. Then Update to save our settings. Now, if I go to that page, here's the login and I'm going to log in using the password we set up. And there, it unlocks and takes me straight to that category, ready to browse and purchase. Alternatively, you could leave your protected categories visible, and then if a customer clicks on one, they'll be asked to log in. 
So to do that, I'll go back to the protected category plugin settings, and this time I'm going to check the category visibility boxes here. Now, save my changes, and then if I come back to my shop page, refresh, and there, the categories are now visible. But if I click on one, I'll be asked to log in. The other way to give access to protected categories is with the user and user roles options in the specific category settings. So I'm back in WooCommerce, Products, and then Categories, and I'm going to edit my Accessories category and come down to the Visibility section. And I can give access to a group of users by putting their usernames here, or another way is to give user roles access. So I would just come here and then select the user role, and then anyone with that role would be able to access the category. OK, so that's been a look at the Protected Categories plugin from Barn2, the quick and easy way to hide WooCommerce categories on your site. There's no technical knowledge required to use the plugin, and it's suitable for beginners while being developer friendly. In the description below, you'll find a link to download the plugin with a free trial and 30 day money back guarantee. So it's easy and risk free to try out on your site. There's also a link to the full documentation for the plugin in the description below. Thanks for watching.